Well, I think your two female guests did a great job explaining that uh, this was a, a pretty good deal. Look, the, there are Democrats mad because we cut spending too much. There are some Republicans mad because we didn't cut spending enough. That's called governing. I don't like it. But when we're one third of the equation, the House is one third, the Senate's a third, and the White House is a third, I think it's a, about as good a deal as we could have gotten. So I'm glad that we've moved past this and now we can focus on trying to get spending under control again in October when the full year budget appropriation comes due again. All right, let's talk about your... He offered us the opportunity to come look at it in a private ship, but he, he was going to redact it. My experience with getting documents from the F FBI when they're redacted, well, well, there's very... It, it's all black lines. They don't show anything. But uh, I'm going to say on this show what we told Director Ray, what Senator Grassley told Director Ray. He and I have already seen the 1023 form. We knew what was in the 1023 form. Until we told Director Ray that, he never even admitted that the form existed. So the, the level of confidence that we have with Director Ray only went down. It only declined throughout the conversation. So uh, we will go there and look at the redacted document, but we know what's in the document. And the reason we find this allegation credible, not only because of the credibility of the whistleblower, but because we've seen a pattern of Joe Biden when he was vice president leaving a country after he talks about foreign aid and foreign policy and his family members start receiving payments from that company through shell companies that are then laundered down to Biden family members. So there is a pattern of behavior. And we saw that in Romania. We've seen that in China. We've seen that in other countries that would suggest that this allegation has merit. Well, for some reason, the FBI thinks they're immune to oversight. Look, the Durham report proved that the FBI has lots of issues. We brought that up. Senator Grassley and I reminded Director Ray that the uh, Durham report was devastating to the credibility of the FBI. And his response was that that all happened before he became FBI director. So look, all we want is this form. And it's not classified. Uh, they can redact the name of the informant. I'm fine with that. I would have redacted it if I had the document, uh, you know, w without that redaction. Let's protect the human informant. I agree with that. We should always protect and, and the human I, informant. I want to be very clear. You it's so hard to believe, Sean. I wouldn't have believed it had I not seen the bank records. Have I not seen the shell companies that the Biden family created to launder money that was being received from foreign nationals after Joe Biden left the country? Uh, with foreign aid checks. So yeah. there's a pattern here that would suggest this is a credible allegation. Now, we, I went through this at Treasury just a few months ago. They said, oh, you don't need access to these suspicious activity reports, these bank violations at the Biden have. You're never going to find anything there. That's what Janet Yellen kept saying. We finally got in there. And guess what we found, Sean? We found that Joe Biden lied when he said his family never took money from China. We found that Joe Biden actually did, and his family did receive payments while he was vice president. And we found five new Biden family, five new Biden family members that were in on the influence right. peddling scheme. So that was a very productive trip to the Treasury Cabinet, even though they said we wouldn't find anything. I think we'll find the same sort of evidence with the FBI documents. And and Director A to be.